It all started when a group of friends decided to venture into a forest for their next trip. Despite having explored many cities and picturesque towns before, this was their first expedition into the depths of a jungle, making it a special adventure for all of them. Their journey began at the crack of dawn as they set out from home, driving towards the forest. Within an hour, they arrived at their destination, well prepared with food, water bottles, a first aid kit, and even a metal detector brought along by one of the friends. This friend had a passion for uncovering hidden treasures with his metal detector, although he had yet to make any significant finds. Metal detectors are electronic devices used to locate metal buried underground, popular in the world of treasure hunting for their potential to unearth valuable discoveries. Despite its potential, the friends were skeptical about its utility in a vast jungle, fearing it would only slow them down and waste their time. As they entered the forest with their supplies, they immediately noticed how untouched and dense the vegetation was, thriving in solitude away from human interference. The towering trees created a canopy that cast a shadow of eerie silence over the forest. No chirping birds or signs of wildlife disrupted the stillness. Although they felt uneasy about the forest's unsettling quietness, the friends pushed aside their apprehensions, eager to make the most of their long-awaited trip. Little did they know, this journey was about to become unforgettable. A twist of fate awaited them that would turn their lives upside down. Forests are not just habitats for trees and animals. They often harbor inexplicable mysteries that intrigue and unsettle. Stories of strange beings and unexplained phenomena in the woods abound, blending fact with fiction in the minds of adventurers. Nature, with its penchant for surprises, sometimes reveals wonders that defy belief and, occasionally, horrors that chill the soul. Despite the forest's tranquil facade, the group of friends pressed on, oblivious to what awaited them in the depths ahead. The gentle morning had transformed into a bright noon as the group of men continued their trip through the forest, thoroughly enjoying their adventure so far. Despite the sun beating down outside, the forest remained cool and shaded beneath its towering, thick trees. Having traveled a considerable distance, they were now hungry and decided it was time for lunch. After some searching, they found a relatively clean spot amidst the woods where they could rest and eat. It was a small victory to find such a spot in the wilderness. They unpacked their lunches and shared their experiences so far, each expressing surprise at the absence of any living creatures around them. The hike had begun to wear them out, and they decided to take a break before pushing on. It was then that the man with the metal detector suggested scanning their surroundings with his device. However, his friends, exhausted from the hike, showed little interest in the idea. Despite their reluctance, he decided to proceed with his metal detecting alone. Dragging his instrument across the ground, his friends observed with skepticism, convinced that finding anything of value in such a remote jungle was futile. While he persisted in his search, the others engaged in lively conversation about their lives, homes, and professions, becoming so absorbed that they momentarily forgot about their friend. It was during this exchange that they heard a loud crack of thunder. Unexpectedly, the weather had taken a turn for the worse, signaling an impending downpour. They needed to find their friend and quickly head home. As ominous black clouds filled the sky and the forest was buffeted by strong winds, even the smallest trees swayed. Lightning flashed intermittently, adding to the urgency of their situation. They hastily gathered their belongings and began searching for their missing companion, uncertain where their efforts would lead them. They scanned nearby areas but found no sign of him. Clearly, he had wandered far. Meanwhile, crows cawed loudly overhead, as if issuing a warning to the visitors. Despite it still being midday, darkness seemed to engulf the forest, creating an unsettling atmosphere of unpredictability. With no trace of their friend and the sun beginning its descent, they knew they had to locate him before nightfall. They split up and searched in different directions. Suddenly, one of the friends heard a piercing scream that sent shivers down his spine. He quickly alerted the others, and they hurried towards the source of the sound anxious to discover whether their friend was in trouble or had stumbled upon something that had provoked such a reaction. 
they were about to uncover a surprise that would change everything. Finally, they reached their friend, who was crouched down in astonishment. Despite calling his name, he remained unresponsive, clearly in a state of shock. Before him lay a sizable hole, clearly dug out by his own efforts. It was evident that he had stumbled upon something remarkable. But what lay within? With hearts racing, they approached the hole and saw the unexpected. A massive metallic object buried within. Covered in dirt, its identity remained obscured. Turning to their friend for answers, even he was at a loss. Deciding to excavate further, they wasted no time in digging deeper. Driven by curiosity, they used whatever makeshift tools they could find to hasten the process. Before long, they uncovered the object completely. It didn't take them much time to realize what it was, a motorcycle. However, this discovery only raised more questions than answers. Why was a motorcycle buried here? And how had it remained in such remarkably good condition, despite its burial in the jungle? These questions surely echo in your mind too, don't they? To understand the significance of this strange find, it's crucial to delve into its history, a history that ties it intriguingly to World War II. Seeking answers, the curious man consulted experts who identified it as a Red October L300 motorbike, also known as the original DKW Luxus 300. Manufactured in Leningrad, now St. Petersburg, by the Russians, the bike derived its name from the city L, standing for Leningrad. But what made this motorbike so special? Initially licensed by DKW, a German automobile company, the Luxus 300 was eventually produced independently by the Russians. It gained popularity and became a staple in military use during World War II, favored for both on- and off-road missions. Its robust design and reliability made it a favorite among military personnel. The early 20th century saw the manufacturer producing just five models of motorcycles, as their primary focus was arms production. However, with the establishment of Trust Mass Production, also known as TREMAS, or TREMAS, under the leadership of Pyotr Vladimirovich Moserov, the factory in Leningrad began producing engines and transmissions. This led to the creation of the A300, marking a significant milestone in motorcycle manufacturing. This discovery not only unearthed a well-preserved relic from history, but also sparked a journey into understanding its role in military and industrial history. In September 1930, the Russians commenced the production of 25 motorcycles named A300. These bikes closely resembled the German DKW Luxus 300, featuring a single-cylinder, two-stroke engine with a displacement of 296 ksm. But how did they come to be known as Red October? Here's the story. Production of these motorcycles continued in Leningrad for three years before shifting to a factory named Red October. It was here that the motorcycle earned its distinctive name. The early editions produced at Red October included specialized versions, such as a heavier model equipped with a water pump, used notably for firefighting. Over time, the performance of the Red October L300 declined, primarily due to changes in gasoline quality used in Russia. Consequently, the once robust motorcycle saw a reduction in power output, now equipped with a 6 HP engine. Production eventually moved to a factory located in Aij. Despite its age of 80 years, the bike discovered by the men remained remarkably intact. They managed to restore it to its former glory, leading to its eventual placement in a museum. Little did they anticipate encountering such a historically significant and valuable artifact on what began as a routine trip. Remarkably resilient, the vehicle had weathered the elements without significant damage. In fact, it was so well preserved that one could almost imagine taking a ride on it right after it was unearthed from the mud. This discovery is just one among many instances where people have stumbled upon remarkable artifacts of historical value underground. Such discoveries offer a glimpse into the past, enriching our understanding of history. Among the notable discoveries is the SS Islogorm, a British munition ship sunk by a German bomber during World War II. Located under the sea, 
the ship remains a poignant reminder of wartime history, attracting hundreds of tourists who descend to view and photograph its remains. Surrounded by vibrant marine life, the sunken ship provides a captivating and educational experience for visitors, 